Kalen Etzler, what's up, man? How are you this morning? I'm good. Woke up early and already got a workout in. Got one later tonight. Dang, dang. So I want to start off with this. I was on your Instagram page and I saw these shoes and I have very little uh, swag, okay? But I saw these shoes. These might be the coolest shoes I've ever seen. I saw someone customize these for you. Ohio State, these are amazing, dude. Thanks, I appreciate it. They're actually right there on the wall. Oh, seriously? Can I see them? Yeah. I got to see them. See, they're right here. Woo! Oh, dude. Whoever did those for you, you need to give me their number. I don't even know what, what I'd get customized on the shoes. It probably wouldn't be Ohio State because I just graduated from a college here in St. Louis, but something along those lines would be cool. <laughs> hey, it was a little, uh, little friend I had yeah, from high school. I met him in middle school, and he's like, I paint shoes if you want me to do anything for you. So, Dude, like a yeah, belt. See I, see, I just graduated from college here, but in high school, I was always called No Swag Matt because I don't know how to match anything. My shoes, people always go like, what are those to my shoes? I happen to like my shoes, but I saw those on your Instagram. I'm like, I feel like it takes a special type of person to pull those shoes off, and I feel like I might be one of the dudes who can pull those off, man. <laughs> We'll get you – Well, you said no O-State, but we'll get you some O-State ones. There we go, like a boss. All right, so I want to start this interview off with a game. I call it the bullet round. I made it myself. I'm going to ask you some quick questions. I want some quick answers, okay? So your first favorite sport, I'm assuming, is probably basketball. What's your second favorite sport? Um, probably football. Football, got you. You and I were to play NBA video game, doesn't matter what year or what system, who would win? You said the NBA video game? Yeah. So, like, NBA 2K? Yeah, probably. Uh, I don't know. I'm not very good, so you'll probably win. You seem like you, you can sauce up on 2K. 100%. What's the weirdest thing about you? Um, I don't know. When I get hyper, I'm, like, pretty weird guy. So, I don't know. I just say probably, like, uh, what I say. <laughs> I can relate. What is your pet peeve? What is something that people do that you just cannot stand? Um, probably just lie. I just don't like when people are straight up with me and I can tell they're lying. Yeah, yeah. What is your favorite TV show? What's a, a TV show you've been binging during this quarantine? Yeah, um, my favorite one's Rick and Morty, but I'm finished, so Breaking Bad's probably sick. You know what, man? I never got into Rick and Morty. Like, I watched The Family Guy, The American Dad, but I've never gotten into Rick and Morty. It kind of creeps me out for some reason. Yeah, you, no, you got you to get, get, get hip to Rick and Morty. <laughs> all right, for you, I will. What's your favorite movie of all time? Doesn't matter from when it was. Step Brothers, for sure. Dude, Will Ferrell is the bomb. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is a food you, you absolutely cannot stand? Um, probably, like, Pickles. Uh, I just don't like pickles. <laughs> I hate all fruits and vegetables. I am that person who literally, I'll go into a grocery store, I'll completely skip the fruit and vegetable aisle. <laughs> yeah, I like peas and broccoli and that stuff. I'm good on that. I'm allergic to peas. I'll die if I have one. <laughs> <laughs> but yet I can have peanuts, so it's in like the same family, but yet I can't have peas. I don't know why. No, they're both good. Yeah, well, I guess I'm missing out. Last bullet round question. What is your favorite subject in school? Um, probably math. Oh, God. All right, whatever. Moving on from the bullet round to ESPN Top 100 uh, recruits for the class of 21. That must feel absolutely incredible to be on that list, to be among 100 of the top players of uh, 21. Yeah, um, when I first came out, I was in, like, the top 50 my freshman year, and then I dropped out of it. So we're working our way back up there, but, hey, it's, it's still a blessing to be in the top 100. 100%. To know that you're among the best of the best in the country, that must just be such a, a great feeling to have, knowing that your hard work is paying off. Exactly, especially growing up in such a small town. Yeah, yeah. Well, you committed to playing for Ohio State in 2019. You're from Ohio, so that didn't come as, like, a huge shock to me. Not, not a huge shock to most people, I'd presume. But how long was it in between visiting with them uh, or getting that offer to actually committing? Um, well, my freshman year is when they really started to take notice. But, but 
like it wasn't really on my mind that I was going to commit like I was going to go through the whole recruiting process and take my time but um throughout my sophomore year it kind of just grew on me and when I finally heard that they might actually offer me I thought about it more and more and it just felt like I should go home and it's definitely the place to be especially um because I think comfort like being comfortable plays a big role in playing good and playing well. So there's no place that I'd feel more comfortable than home. Yeah. Absolutely. I think you're going to absolutely tear it up there. And you may make me uh, make me become an Ohio State fan just because you're playing on the team. <laughs> but as far as boiling it down, because you've got you know, several other offers, were, were there any other schools kind of, in, uh, kind of in contention or was Ohio State really kind of the route you knew you were going to take? I – that was like the first major offer I got, and I uh, took it actually on spot as soon as they gave it to me in the office. Um, but yeah, Ohio State probably. You must have done like several backflips just getting offers, because like for me, I I was recruited for journalism here at a local school. I got a full ride scholarship for journalism. Certainly no athletic scholarships whatsoever because I only play chess, and I guess that's a good sport because it exercises the mind and all. Yeah. But but just to get all those different offers. You must have done so many backflips. It must have just been exciting knowing you have all these different options here that schools are really interested in you. Yeah, like I said, growing up in a small town and out of nowhere, just all the, all this stuff happening, it's definitely a blessing. Yeah. So, so talk about that balance with high school and basketball. Because once again, in high school, I played chess. And I like that was enough for me. B- bouncing that with homework, I had the hardest time doing. So bouncing training and competing with schoolwork, how have you been able to balance that? Um, I have a really smart friend and, uh, I think that's a big thing with studying. You kind of got to find like a study buddy, I guess. Um, and he helps me out. I guess we help each other out because I'm the math one, but, um, you just got to stay on a schedule and get everything done and make sure you're still getting like seven hours of sleep and on a good day eight, but. It's a lot of running around and a lot of stress sometimes, but you just got to get it done. I got to get it done. Talk about your beginnings in basketball. When did this all kind of start? I'm assuming you started at a, a fairly young age. Uh, actually, I used to be a bum when I was a little kid. I was that kid who showed up to practice in like jeans <laughs> at first, but uh, around sixth grade, that's when like I started to watch my cousin uh, Cam and my brother. Uh, especially he's the one who got me into basketball really and competing I just like you know trying to beat my brother and whatever it was and uh, I was growing at the time and started to get there when I was passing my brother in height and I thought it was only right to you know follow in his footsteps and try try to be uh, better than him so that's really what pushed me was there ever like a specific time or experience that you can uh, recall where you're like, basketball is really something that I want to pursue, that I want to really attempt to take to the highest of levels? Yeah, like I said, in sixth grade, I remember watching a YouTube video and it was doing math on like the percentage of male athletes or male humans in general who have the opportunity to go play Division One basketball. And I, and I knew from that point that I, would, I wouldn't try to get in the – like minimum, like the low percentile, so. Yeah, yeah. So was that, when you watched that YouTube video, was that more of like, for me, that would be intimidating, but for you, did you kind of take that as a motivational type of deal? Um, I was already kind of getting, I guess, kind of getting looks. Not really, but I was uh, starting to, um, uh, what is the word, stick out. Uh, at games and stuff. So, yeah, I kind of just used it as motivation. Yeah. So I know you said that your, your brother was is an inspiration for you. Do you have any, like, NBA players, past or present, that you kind of look up to, some of your favorite players? Um, actually, yeah, obviously Kobe. Kobe's up there. He's probably my number one. Uh, Tracy McGrady. I love Tracy McGrady. Um, and then when I was real little, I always watched Kevin Durant just because I thought we kind of had a similar build. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fun fact. So I'm not huge into basketball. I definitely love the uh, Boston Celtics. 
But one of my first interviews in the basketball realm was Kevin Durant. I got to interview Kevin Durant for my first book when I was 13 or 14 years old. And I'm like, that's a pretty damn cool first <laughs> basketball interview. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, I saw you did some stuff with, like, Olympic gold medalists, all of that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's still a uh, shock to me that I was able to get Kevin Durant. So, so thank you. <laughs> thanks to him for the time. And then we have the future Kevin Durant and the future stars like you. And that's even cooler, huh? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, well, for my birthday, actually, since I am a Boston Celtics fan, my dad is from Boston, so I kind of have to go down that path. Uh, my dad, it was just a few days ago, he got me a Marcus Smart and a Robert Williams autograph card. I'm like, best birthday gift ever, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. One of one. <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure. So uh, for future Ohio State uh, fans of yours, since they're going to be, uh, I, I really think they're going to like you very much, what should they kind of expect to see from you? Um, I'm just going to work hard to do whatever coach tells me to do. Um, the big thing I want to try to do is, uh, you know, go in there and rebound as best as I can or the best that I can and, um, play a really, really good defense for time. And then I, I hope they can expect me to hit uh, big shots because I work on my shooting a lot. Like, uh, as soon as I go in the gym, that's what I'm doing. I'm shooting my, uh, rounds doing my shooting workouts with my brother so yeah. I saw on your Instagram I guess it was like a little highlight video I, I think someone had edited it for you but you put it on your page and you did this enormous slam dunk and I feel like you were maybe like a, a very very close to knocking that entire hoop over it looked like you had a lot of force right there another one ah! <laughs> uh, was it the one like it was just the short one where I just took off yeah. yeah, that was that that was that was a fun night. Uh, I have always wanted to slam dunk, but I'm like five eight, uh, maybe five nine with with some uh, shoes on. Uh, maybe I'll be like <laughs> six foot with those pairs of shoes that you were uh, showing me. But yeah, you know, for me, I suck at basketball. But something, um, it's weird. Like I can't shoot when I'm near the hoop. It's a weird thing. But I can shoot like three points. It is like the weirdest thing ever. But I and I'm, I'm gonna tell you this at Linwood, where I went to college. We were doing like these uh, half court shots. Of course, I missed about 300 of them before I made one. I made one half court shot. And just for that, I feel like I should have got some athletic scholarship. Would you agree with me? <laughs> I feel like someone should have given you some money or something. Put, Seriously. Put money on it. No one believed in me. And, you know, of course, I, they have a right to not believe me because it was like 300 shots later. People were falling asleep. And then as soon as people turned around and started leaving, I got the shot in. But I feel like that's how things work out sometimes. Yeah, I give you like 50 cents or something. I think a dollar. You could do better than 50 cents. Okay, I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> so you're going into your senior year of high school. Before you go to Ohio State, what are some things, or even in your senior year, what are some things you want to work on before you uh, go into the Ohio State uh, basketball team? Um, number one um, on my list is gain weight. So, like, right now I'm really skinny. I'm, like, 180 on a really good day, so – I'm trying to eat more calories just because I burned so many off. Like I said, I do. I have two workouts today, but usually I do about three of them, like including a lift. And uh, I'm hoping to, you know, gain some weight because Big Ten, a bunch of big guys, you know, playing Powerball sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You got this. You got this. Talk about the goals. Uh, 2020, although everything's kind of uh, weird right now with COVID and all that, but talk about your goals 2020, 2021. Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, for basketball, um, my high school team, I definitely want to try to just get a better record. Last year, we were a little over 500, and um, I felt like I could have done a lot more. Um, I, I didn't. Like, my offensive efficiency wasn't very well. Some games I'd have, like, 12. Some games I've had, I'd have 30. So it just fluctuated way too much. But I try to do whatever we can to win. But that's probably number one is um, get a better uh, record. As far as um, anything else, I guess just spend time with my family before everyone's off. My brother's leaving July 7th, I think, to head back to college. And... Um, I don't know. I think my mom wants to move to Florida or something once I go off to college, but we'll see. 
But well, Kalen, I appreciate the time, man. I am super excited about your future. Hopefully you can hook me up with an autograph in the near future. <laughs> I'm going to leave the floor to you. Anyone you'd like to thank, how can people find you on Instagram, Twitter, anything like that? Um, it's just Kalen Etzler24 on Instagram. So K-A-L-E-N-E-T-Z-L-E-R-24. But um, I just want to thank, you know, my brother, my mom, my grandpa, all my friends, my best friends, Carson, Brody, um, you know, grandma, um, and my dad, you know, little sister. That's about it.